everyone. I just wanted to do a very quick tutorial on how to use the track changes. So um, this is an article um, that we submitted for our publication and you can see even the abstract looks quite a mess here, right? So um, working in this is not very productive, but keeping all these track changes is very helpful. So in case you want to go back um, and grab some of that deleted text or um, look to see what changes were made. So I wanted to show you how you do this. If you go to review, um, first of all, you want to make sure the track changes is on. Um, the easiest thing to do, way to check, I always just check by trying to type something, and if it works, then you know track changes is on. Now, um, this is in all markup, so you'll see we see everything here. So when I move something, it turned green. If I delete it, the strike through is there. If I added something, it's in red. So you can see all this, um, you know, color and um, different kinds of uh, you know, markings that are there. This is under all markup. You also see comments uh, that are there. So now if you shift over to simple markup, this is a great way to view it, um, to still see the comments, um, and you see the red line to know that there were changes there. So if you wanna see those changes, you can do a couple of different things. You can either go back to the top and change it back to all markup, or you can just simply click on the red line and it brings you right back there. So you can kind of go back and forth, whichever way you like. Um, the beauty of this is now you have a nice clean abstract to look at, but you didn't lose the comment feature. Now, if you want to see how the whole thing looks without any comments or any distractions at all, you can go to the no markup page and that's going to make it look just like it's going to do once you accept everything. So that's kind of uh, another option. But the only thing that I caution you about is make sure you don't forget to go and, and change and accept all of the uh, comments and uh I mean, all the changes and delete all of the comments. So I'm going to go back to the simple markup for a moment. So in the comments, um, this is how we want you to handle comments. If we make a comment, one of your dissertation committee members or, you know, chair person comments, that means you should be paying attention to that and you want to reply. So most of the comments are going to be um, instructional, like, you know, maybe you need to reword this, or I'm not following it, maybe you need a citation, things of that nature. But any comment that's there, what you want to do is you want to hit reply and, and put your reply there. So it might be okay, you know, you might say that, and maybe um, I added a citation to back up this statement. So you let us know what you did so that we it's easy for us to, to keep track of. Now, if this is all done, you can hit the resolve button. And what that does is it kind of moves it into the background so you don't see it. But maybe this is one, you know, maybe you're going to say here and said, yes, I, I know I'm still working on this. So we know that you didn't ignore our comment. Looking for an article to cite. You know, so this one then you would keep unresolved because this one's done, you don't need to do anything. It makes it easier as if you're kind of going up and down the document for you to see, you can look for the bolded ones. Then um, I would encourage you not to delete comments unless your chairperson um, advises you to do that. That way, when I get it back the next time, I can see you just didn't delete my comments, but you responded and I know what you did with them. And it helps me refresh my memory about what I was interested in you uh, revising. So really helpful to keep all of those. Just hit the resolve if you did it, but make sure you respond to the comments so we know what's going on. Now, um, if you're okay with some of the changes, let's just go back into all markup for a minute. Like maybe you're like, you know what, this is not a good way to start my paper. I want to accept this change. Then you can go ahead and accept it one by one. Um, but if you like it and you look at this paragraph and you're like, you know what, this sounds a lot better. I want to accept all the changes um, in the entire document. You can also do that, accept all changes. So um, once you do that, they're all accepted. So that's um, something that you wouldn't do like during the revision process you would do when you're getting ready to submit the proposal. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, all right, I think that kind of tells us, tells you uh, most of the things. Only, only other thing I'll tell you is you, if we are deleting comments, um, you know, once we get to that stage, you can delete them one by one, or you also can go into the delete tab on the top and there's a delete all comments um, button there as well. So hopefully that helps you because it keeps it there um, for you if you want to go back and see. You can also see your original document. So what did it look like when you first submitted it? So you can take a, a peek at all those different options, but everything is kind of still there in the background. Okay, um, thanks so much.